Hello to everybody in the wonderful Dynamics 360 fan Power Platform community. Today, I'm going to take you through volume two of my series on my YouTube channel, Power of D365, which is Effective Dynamics 365 Marketing. Focus of the day is how to effectively use your marketing emails. I am Deepesh Somani, Business Applications MVP, MCT author, and uh, co-founder here at Dynamicity. So let's quickly get into action. But before we do that, Let's talk about how you can reach out to me or how you can see different things that I've been contributing to. You can reach out to me through any of these mediums. Above me, you can see my YouTube channel, Power of D365. Feel free to subscribe or scan the QR code. I recently completed a podcast, season one, Power Advice. There were 10 episodes in it. You can also listen to that podcast available on Google, Apple, and Spotify. And if not, you can definitely scan the QR code and see the web link for the podcast as well. I've been blogging for seven plus years. If you're more interested in reading my blogs, you can reach out on dynamicsofdynamicscrm.com. Then you can also reach out to me on LinkedIn or Twitter. I do my tech tweets from MS Dynamics blog, right? So let's quickly get into action. And before action, we'll actually start understanding marketing emails. So let's get introduced to Dynamics 365 marketing emails. The process for creating marketing emails begins with understanding what makes them such a powerful tool. So in email marketing in our digital channels today, emails and rich emails are pretty important to give a rich kind of experience to your customer and that builds your brand loyalty as well. So a good design is aimed at a specific segment of the audience. Previewing it is pretty interesting, pretty easy, intuitive in Dynamics 365 marketing. And we can also check for errors before go live. So here you can see a variety of Dynamics 365 marketing emails available in the screen grab above. So where do we go and start creating our marketing email? In your Dynamics 365 marketing app, you can go under marketing and then marketing execution grouping. Here is where you see marketing emails. You can Click on new to create a new message. You can choose a template which establishes the basic formatting of your message, or you can design your message by using drag and drop designer or HTML editor. Here in the screen behind me, you see an example of a new marketing email designer where you can either design it or you can go with the HTML. You can see the HTML tab over here. So you can go with the HTML tab or you can design it or you can pick a template. When we see the demo, we'll go through it very quickly. One of the most effective ways to use your marketing emails is to choose between the layouts and templates that are provided. First thing that you're asked when you create a marketing email is to select a template. Select a very good looking template that suits your use case. It includes many templates, Dynamics 365 marketing app, which are both structural and style elements. There's also a blank te template, which lets you start from scratch with an empty message if you want. But if you want to use it effectively, start from some particular template that is being provided with the product, Dynamics 365 marketing app, and then you can change it around to suit your needs. Now let's talk about the best practices to create your marketing e emails. Create very clean, collaborative, and responsible content. Avoid sending to invalid and inactive email addresses, and that's to do with data cleansing as well a bit on your application. Maintain some regular and consistent send volume. Don't overload your customers or potential customers and try to do some sender authentication for your domain. So that should be a good thing that you can do with your marketing emails. Now let's quickly get into a demo. Okay guys, so let's quickly see a demonstration of how to create an effective marketing email. First of all, what I did, I opened Dynamics 365 marketing app and then I navigated down under marketing execution two marketing emails and here is one which I have created as a sample for birthday wishes. So if you can look at the design, uh, there are certain things that uh, I have utilized. There's a template called as gyro that has been utilized and that's how this is going to look. And I have edited a bit of image and then put some messaging on top. And then if you wanted to send certain more thing, I have put in contents. There are some content snippets being used as content settings being used as well on this particular email. And how did I end up coming over here that we'll talk about in a bit. This is a live one. So what you can do on a live email is you can do a test send. 
first of all it's going to check for errors and thereafter no errors are found and you can just send it to a email address of your choice so you can mention the email address that you want and send it and actually test it in your inbox how this activity was done so I'll just quickly take you through that as well. Uh, there are some sample ones which you can refer to. You need to click on new and you'll be presented with a set of templates. So what is my recommendation? If you want to start from scratch, not a recommended route, you can either search, you can filter. There's a filtering option available as well based on the language, content type. Then you can also search based on the legal destination, market type, if it is B2B, B2C. This all depends on how you're going to store your marketing emails and I have not seen people utilizing this segmentation properly. It really helps during searching to your marketing department or your digital marketing team. And you can also search for your purpose. So let's say I'm searching for a thank you and then I can just say select. I was too quick there. Uh, let me do all this over again. So I went to marketing email. Let me discard this, click on new. And what I was searching was for a preview. So you get a preview of whatever you're selecting. So you get a, if you want to zoom in, it's a great idea to zoom in and see before actually using this. So I want a small business toolkit one. I can just select this and say select. As soon as you do the select and your designer opens up, if you're really good on HTML, you can just start editing in HTML here. That will load you the HTML editor. If you want to see a preview in different kinds of inboxes, this is a trial. I'm not going to see everything, but I will see certain kinds of inboxes for my preview. I can refer to that over here as well. So that means I can see how it looks on desktop, on tablet, and then on a mobile. Very, very important to create an effective marketing email. Majority of customers might open the email on their mobile or tablet device. So this is a great preview that you can do. Then you can edit using designer. Okay, let me go back to the designer. And you can put in basic elements such as text, image, divider, and other things. You can put advanced elements like content blocks, marketing pages, etc. We're going to talk about them in the subsequent series volume and the same effective Dynamics 365 marketing series. I hope you were uh, getting a great idea because the idea of this particular video series is to keep it close to five minutes and where to have a starting point. So use your marketing emails effectively. That's the idea, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Power 365 as usual. See you next Thursday. Feel free to reach me out, the page for money, on any of these mediums. If you have any of Dynamics 365 or Power Platform needs, feel free to get us in touch with us here at Dynamicity. Take care, guys, and stay safe.